Peggy 3. Rallying is something very special, you know. I've been following rally since I was very small. It takes a lot of practice. Uh, at the same time, is to get this passion about what you're doing. It's nice to be back here at Codemasters. I am one of the younger generation who grew up with Colin McRae era and throughout all the, the games since. So for me, computer games sit very easily with me and driving a rally car is lucky enough to be my day job. So to translate that and give people the real perception of what it's like to drive a rally car is something pretty cool. Colin also was the guy who have helped me through my start of the career in rallying. We got very good friends, so when the first Paul McRae came started, we were practicing a lot, testing a lot. That was very enjoyable to be a part of the first game. And for me, he was a fantastic person, and everybody knows his driving style. He was very aggressive and good fun. So it makes me very happy to be a part of this uh, Dirt 4 game. Rally's always been a passion of mine. I got into video games because I wanted to work on Colin McRae Rally and it's kind of gone full circle because I've had the opportunity to get in a car and be a co-driver and compete for real. And getting real world racing drivers in to look at a game that you've been working on is an integral part of developing the game. Rally driving is a sport where you do 10,000 corners one time, whereas a circuit racing driver will do one corner 10,000 times. For me, in a circuit racing environment, you tend to memorize it and you tend to get used to it and become robotic to some degree. Whereas in rallying, you have to remain completely open. Your stage actually opens the door to being able to curate tracks all the way through the career, but it means that the player can then generate tracks to their heart's content, making sure that the game is always feeling fresh, new, they're always getting challenged by new stages. It's an absolute revelation. If we're going to allow players to generate their own tracks, we want those players to be able to share them between each other, making sure that they can set challenges, send them to their friends. There's potentially millions, a near infinite amount of stages that we can create. We have ways of setting up the stage to make it more technical, so you've got more corners or it's a much more flowing stage, so there's many more straights in there. And along with that, we have the elevation, so you've got more heights and more change in jumps and that kind of thing. My dream has been to make a stage in Dirt 4, share it to all my fans. I put uh, time in. Hopefully nobody beats me, but to make a proper competition out of this, if somebody beats me, it will be some proper trophies. It's not about memorizing the same stage and being robotic. It's about being open and challenging yourself to a different road every time. From what I've seen, the concepts of what will be in the new game it really opens it up to a completely new dimension. And for me, it's trying to capture what rally driving is about. The kick I get out of it, the buzz I get out of it, is putting myself against different roads around the world, going around the side of a mountain, not knowing what's coming, and putting that pure trust in the pace notes that you're getting. If it all works, there's no better buzz. For me, it's what I live for. I think all the competition, what we're doing, is to try to get better, not to maybe drive all the time to learn a stage. It's all about listening to the car driver and try to get the flow and the rhythm it's exciting to get your teeth into something. We try and translate that into what we see in the game. And it's fantastic working with these guys here at Codemasters.